Today I'm taking a look at a new running backpack, the Osprey Daylight Plus. Six point three three miles, eight minutes, thirty three seconds per mile in the Osprey Daylight Plus. It was my first run in this new running backpack. Now, uh, most of you have probably seen that I normally run in the Nike Run Commute backpack. That's a Run Commute backpack that I picked up last year. But there are a couple of parts of it where it's starting to show some wear and tear. I've gotten a lot of miles in it. I've carried a lot of stuff in it, and it was time for me to get something new. And I was about to just get the same exact backpack because I like it that much. Uh, and it's $70 on the Nike website, and I think you can get it in a lot of places on Amazon as well. And that's a pretty good deal, a great bargain for me. But I was thinking, as long as I'm looking for another running backpack, maybe I should try something a little bit bigger. With the winter time, I usually have to take my jacket and then pack that, uh, put that in the running backpack and run with it so that way I'm not too hot as I run. And then when I get to pick up the girls, I pull the, the jacket back out and I wear it so that way I'm not too cold when I'm just walking around and not running. And so that adds quite a bit of bulk to what I'm running with. And there were a couple of times last year where I had it just so incredibly full that like the tension of the stuff inside uh, made the zip zippers open up. And so one time I had kind of a blowout and all my stuff kind of like flew out of the backpack. That was once. Uh, other times, you know, you're kind of really jamming everything in there and debating, do you really need to bring such and such? And so I didn't really want to have to have to make those decisions so much this winter. Uh, and so I went with something a little bit bigger. Now Osprey makes a 15 liter version, which is the Osprey Daylight. And they also make a 20 liter version called the Osprey Daylight Plus. That's what I have here. So I'll give you a quick tour around the bag. Uh, they have some very thin uh, straps up front, which I like uh, a little bit of padding as well. It's got the sternum straps right here that you can attach. And uh, it's got tons of storage on the sides. Now some of the reviews for this pack said that this kind of drink holder pack wasn't all that helpful, but this thing's pretty deep and it actually runs a little bit too high up. So I had a hard time fitting stuff in there. It's gonna take a little bit of muscle memory to figure out how to get my phone slid in or my GoPro slid in. Uh, I wasn't able to reach back far enough or high enough to get my GoPro in while I was running. Maybe I'm just a little bit inflexible right now, um, but I was able to slide my phone in real nice. In the pocket, in terms of how much it fits, it's about the size of the height of a um, iPhone 7. So that's how tall that is. It was kind of to the point where I thought my phone might like jostle out, but it was fine in there uh, and uh, there wasn't a problem. On the back of the pack, there is a nice like uh, padded area and it's ventilated. Uh, this is mesh and then underneath it is like a foam pad, really thick, uh, a little bit thicker and a little bit stiffer than what I've seen in the Nike Run Commute backpack. And on the other side of that is an area for a water bladder. I never use a water bladder. I think I have one. I've used one before. I've never, it's not that I've never used one. I rarely choose to use a water bladder. I'm not out long enough, but this thing is made for primarily, I think hiking, but I thought that I might be able to use it for running and indeed I can. I got this for like 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, so that was really nice as well. So the price is pretty good. And ultimately it's something that I definitely recommend. So 
And the inside you have a spot and then you have a little padded layer for a laptop, which is nice. Uh, on the other side of this, there's like a, a waterproof material. I think it's waterproof um, to separate the hydration pack from the laptop. So that's, uh, that's good. Hopefully that's waterproof because in case you have a blowout or a spill or a leak in your um, hydration pack, then your laptop won't get wet. Um, otherwise, a nice big interior pocket, lots of room that you could store a whole bunch of stuff in there. And then what I also like that the Nike pack didn't quite have as much is a space for storing small things. Now the Nike pack did have a little bit of an interior pocket. This has an exterior pocket that's a little bit more roomy with a couple of little stash zones here, which make things nice. I'll usually put in like my, I'll throw in my like contact lens case. And then maybe during the day when I'm commuting, I might put in like my earbuds like in here. So that's nice. Um, at the end of the day, you can put something larger like my eyeglasses case or my sunglasses case in here. I really like that. It's got um, one of these key loop things that I never use. And I don't know why, but it's super crinkly up here. The rest of the material of the pack is just normal nylon, but this is, I don't know why they did that. Um, closing that up. Then you have another small stash area, which I appreciate all the small stash areas. And this one in the back, this is probably where I put like my keys and wallet. So that way when I come back from my uh, run commute, if I'm coming home, then if I just leave my keys uh, and my wallet in there, I can just swipe this in front of the card reader swipe thing and that makes it nice and easy. Normally with my Nike run commute pack, with the Nike run commute pack, it's interior pocket. It's just a little mesh area here. There's no separation. It's not a lot in here. I can take it off, but I have to take it off and like do kind of this thing. It's not quite as convenient. So um, I definitely, I definitely like the way that they have a couple more pockets here. It's five, it's only five liters bigger, um, but it seems just much more roomy. I felt like I put everything in there that I needed to today. I didn't have a super full pack today, uh, but I did have a decent amount of stuff. So I got an idea of how much I could fit in here. And I just, it's just substantially bigger uh, without being too much heavier. Now it is heavier because there's more padding and there's a couple more layers of uh, fabric and material that's there. So definitely it's a lot heavier than the Nike Run Commute Pack. If you don't have a lot and you want to keep it light, I definitely would go the Nike Run Commuter. But if you've got a little bit more stuff, like a change of clothes and a jacket that you need to put in here, uh, and if you're gonna be running with a computer, I could fit my MacBook in here just fine. You could, I think you'd be able to fit a MacBook 13 inch or any other newer 13 inch laptop in here, a 15 inch, I'm not sure. I'll check uh, with some of them at the office. Uh, we have a couple of 15 inches over there and to see which ones will or won't fit and I'll update in the description um, later today. Uh, but. That's what I think will fit in here. The last thing that they have is they have some expansion straps here and a nice exterior pocket that you can stash a whole bunch of stuff in here, which I like that for kind of like last minute stuff you might want to tuck in or tuck away as you're running. And it also has a little grommet at the bottom too. There it is uh, to let water out. So let's say you've got a rain layer, you're putting it on and then maybe you want to take it off because it stopped raining. Um, you can stash that in here, sequester it from the rest of your stuff and any water that's in it will kind of drain out. Um, any other things, last minute things that you just want to stuff in there real quick uh, will fit. I ultimately have been thinking that I'd like to get a running backpack that could fit a helmet in a spot like this. So that way I could like bike to work and run home or something like that. But I think that would make the running pack really, really big. So uh, this is like a good size. I wouldn't want it that much bigger because I know it would make the running pack really big. As it is, as I was running home today with kind of like a mediumly full running pack, I did feel like as packs get, running packs get bigger, they start to kind of sway back and forth as you run and you feel a little bit of like the, kind of like the centripetal forces of it uh, as you're running and it could be a little bit distracting. I would sometimes get that with this pack. I got that a little bit more with this. So if that's something that you're concerned about, that's something you're gonna notice. It wasn't problematic for me. It didn't bother me at all. I felt overall uh, it carries the 15 liters of uh, space and storage in here really, really well. And so uh, I really like this pack. Um, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Um, something else that it has, it has these uh, these compression straps that you can use to kind of cinch everything down. Uh, can also be used to attach to other Osprey packs. And I do have like an, a larger like Osprey suitcase 
sized backpack that I use. That's what I normally travel with. And so it might make it a little bit easier for me to kind of keep both of them together. So I thought maybe I'd try that. Uh, and that's the main thing that drew me to Osprey is I already have some of their other stuff. And so uh, there's a little bit of an ecosystem that they're building. So if you're already into Osprey packs, you're probably gonna really like the Daylight Plus uh, for the amount of size there is. The only other thing that I thought uh, deserved a little bit of attention is the extra like cords. My watch always gets caught whenever I put a backpack on. So they have, let me zip up here to kind of show you what it looked like. They have this sternum strap, which is nice, but then there's all the, this material, right? And then they've got, uh, I'll move back a little bit. They've got waist straps, which are nice. And they're not that thick. There's no like side pockets or anything like that. If that's something that you really need. Um, I don't really use those very much. I don't like them. I find that there's not big enough to carry anything that I would want to have that accessible, kind of a paradox. Um, but there's a lot of extra material over here too. And let me show you how much there is. There's all this extra material on here once you cinch it down. And so when you let it go, it's kind of like it just flops around and I feel like it makes it makes you look like there's like a catfish uh, on your belly. And so uh, I usually use these. These are web dominators, uh, popular if you're into like the military style bags and gear. Uh, basically, you, it's something that you can use to wrap uh, extra cords and cables. And I put them on my Nike run pack as well, especially on the waist strap. But as far as the ones on like the shoulder strap, like this one just, there's a lot of extra stuff. On the Nike pack, there was a little loop that the extra stuff can kind of like get tucked away into. And so it kept all the excess away from swinging arms. And they just don't have that here. Um, and I don't want to put like four web dominator things all over this pack and that just seems excessive. So as I was running, I was like tucking this in over here and then I was tucking this in like underneath my waist. And so it's just weird, a lot of tucking and I didn't really like that. So that's like the one negative that I have about this pack, but otherwise it's really comfortable. I like running with it. I think I'm, this pack is definitely gonna get a lot of miles. We'll see once it gets warmer, if there's like chafing up here, I suspect that there might cause this material seems a little bit stiffer than the stuff that's on the Nike pack. Um, but it's winter time here in Chicago now and I'm gonna be running with hoods or jackets. So um, this will be just fine. And normally I don't run commute when it's super hot anyway, uh, just because the extra material on the back makes a sweaty day even sweatier. And for me, run commuting ends at pick up for the girls. And so then I have to be like the super sweaty dad that shows up like dripping with sweat and disgusting. So I generally don't run commute during the summer, but now that it's winter, colder, I can just show up and I just look like a guy who likes hoodies. And so I just show up and it's fine. And so this is just a perfect setup for me. Uh, and I'm looking forward to a lot of good run commuting this winter in it. If you have any questions about this pack, let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Before I go, I wanna talk about today's charity runner. Today's charity runner is Justin Does Triathlon. He's got a YouTube channel as well. He just recently ran the Marine Corps Marathon uh, for a wheelchair enabled runner. Uh, he made a video about it as well. Uh, he was running for the Ability Experience team and he was trying to raise $500 for his race. He's not quite at the goal, even though uh, he already ran the race. But if you want to consider donating to his cause and making it so that other wheelchair enabled athletes can get their first marathon experiences, check out the link. I'll also put a link to the video that's in there. It was a pretty awesome video. You know me, I love a good GoPro marathon video. He marathon, he GoPro'd the entire marathon while he was pushing uh, a wheelchair enabled runner. I think that's amazing. There's a, an especially uh, awesome part near the finish where they're going up a large hill and uh, the three of them are working together really hard. There's three of them on the team uh, working really hard to push the wheelchair enabled runner up the hill and into the finish. Uh, really just spectacular to see. So go and check that out. I've donated $5 and I hope that you'll consider doing the same. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?